Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm actually kind of quiet. You probably noticed not as loud as I normally am because I'm in a park and there's a bunch of other people here. And to be perfectly honest, having like a bunch of other people around me when I do these things makes me really subconscious, which is part of the reason I'm doing this whole Veda Day thing. Today is Veda Day officially number one. Yesterday I did my little announcement that I was going to be doing it. Today I guess is the first official video. And I'm out here at a place called Sunset Park. There's a cool little island behind me. You guys can probably see it. There's a giant Easter Island head right there. It's really cool. That, um, I guess Justin Scard from Live Fast Die Poor had mentioned to me. And I, I knew it was here, but I guess there's some history behind that he wanted to look into or something. I was like, oh, cool. So I was on my way home from work. Again, I'll probably be doing a lot of these Veda things on my way home from work, as it's like the best time where I can just sit and do something and not have to go home and have kids and my girlfriend and everybody and have to deal with that stuff quite yet. I can just kind of have a moment to myself to share with you guys and we can just talk for a little bit. Today being that it's the first day, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit more about myself, me, Dano, the guy. Uh, like I said yesterday, it's the Dano channel. It's not the shoe art channel. It's not the other random stuff channel. It's, it's me, it's, it's Dano. So who is Dano? First off, I'm a 31-year-old crazy guy who lives in Henderson, Nevada, and I do art stuff. I'm a Disney nerd. Most of you already know that. And I'm just into weird, random, crazy stuff. Kind of looking around everywhere. I told you, all these people make me self-conscious. I actually get like weird little mini anxiety kind of attacks when I have people watch me do this. So I'm like looking around all shifty-eyed. That's why. Um, it's something I'm trying to break. I'm trying to get used to that, get past that. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of live vlogging like a big tourist destinations like Disneyland, which is going to be full and full of tons of people. So I got to get through that and get through that now. In fact, I even have trouble recording at home when my girlfriend's there in just the other room. It's uh, it's a bit more difficult that way. I don't know why it's because she's not part of the video, but she's still there, but I don't know what she's thinking. So there's like multiple layers going on. So sometimes I'm like, you got to wear headphones and you got to close the door and it's just a little crazy. But, I don't know, I guess all, from what I've kind of figured out, most people who do this kind of stuff are anyways, um, in our own kind of weird little way. It's going to get windy. <sighs> Sorry, but I had to switch hands there for a second. My hand's getting tired. I'm not used to this. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit more about me, so you already know a little bit about how the whole crazy process works anyways. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about dano who is dano what is dano why how did i get this way who am i and i guess i should start somewhere with maybe my name dano it's not really my name that's not my given name i wasn't born i didn't slap a sticker on my butt says dano and they came out the womb my name is daniel it's a regular name but it's also my dad's name so that makes me a junior so from the very very get-go my parents family whatever they all called me DJ, Daniel Jr., um, which was fine and everything, but being someone who was born in the very early 80s and growing up to be a kid around, you know, seven, eight, nine years old through the early 90s, there were things like Full House, which also had a character named DJ. There was a TV show called Roseanne that had a character named DJ, so it was like a, a weird thing, like DJ, you know, it was all over the place. Oh, yeah, like Full House. Oh, yeah, like Roseanne. It was, it was very, very annoying. Um, also when I was younger I moved around a lot, which kind of always gave me this new chance to start over. So I'd always have like, I guess I always went by DJ for the most part, until sometime around 7th grade, I'd, it was like one of my 5th or 6th moves, I'd moved from Oklahoma City to El Paso, Texas, and then back, no I think I was actually going to Albuquerque at this point. I was living in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I lived all over kind of the southwest during much of my childhood. but. I was moving to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'd been there for a little while and started school. I believe it was seventh grade. And there was a kid who, I think his name was Clay, and he was kind of a weirdo. And he didn't want to call me Daniel, because I actually started going by Daniel at that point, um, instead of DJ. I was like, yeah, just call me Daniel, whatever. There's no use explaining the nickname. Um, Some more new. Why go through that if I don't have to? And he was calling me Daniel, D like D-A-N-L, like Daniel. Well, that's it. I don't know why, maybe he's lazy, maybe something else, whatever it was, he would call me Daniel. And since I was still fairly new at the school, and he was one of the, I guess, newest friends that I made, he would introduce me to other people as Daniel. And one of the core groups of friends that I made on that move, um, they would all call me, they heard Dan-O, 
not Dan Ol, but they heard Dan O. And pretty soon that's just became what I was known as was Dan O. Uh, and it, that's the one that kind of stuck because that was my seventh grade through, I guess I finished high school in Albuquerque. So that was like really the formative years, like 13 until I moved away when I was 18. So Dan O kind of stuck and here I am 31 now and I still go by it, which is kind of weird for a 31 year old male man boy to uh, <laughs> still use a nickname. But I don't use the nickname in my real job, actually. I work in a real job in pharmacy. I make drugs for a living, make drugs. Not those kind of drugs, but I uh, work in a pharmaceutical pharmacy company where I make raw drugs, raw capsules, creams, injectables, put on the whole paper suit and do all that kind of thing. That is my regular full-time job, not just artwork, which is why I'm always so backed up and have so much stuff to do, because on top of that, I got kids and a girlfriend and got to come home and do that, and then I never sleep, and ugh, there's just so much going on. But in my regular day job, I go by Daniel. And in fact, I always have. I work at CVS. Previously, went by Daniel, Walmart, Daniel, another company pharmacy. Also, Daniel, the only place and people that call me Dano anymore are my friends, my personal friends. Even my mom still calls me DJ. My dad calls me DJ. And it's still weird for me. Um, but my friends, like people that I like, you guys, um, Go by, I go by Dano, and it's just kind of a, it's a thing, it's something that stuck with me, because I kind of really found my own when I was Dano in New Mexico, and it just stuck, it's something that I liked, I thought it was like, I'm Dano now, but when I'm at work, I call it my slave name, which is not appropriate, but that's what I call it, because I'm slaving away working, but that's Daniel, so generally, like, people I'm not <laughs> too fond of, or I'm not, like, that cool with, they know me as Daniel, and everything else is Dano. And it just kind of makes me wonder, what's in a name? Like, what do all people who are named Daniel, are they predisposed to certain types of behaviors because of that name? Like, all girls named Brittany, are they going to act more of a certain way just because of their name? Like, I've read articles saying that uh, the birth order determines that if you were the first child, you're more predisposed to act a certain way. If you're the baby of the family, like, say, the third child out of three, you're more likely to act a certain way if you were the second child, you know, same thing goes on and on. Like these people, there's these patterns in our behavior that are determined by what order we were born in. And I wonder, do names have that same kind of thing? Because to me, it kind of does. When I'm Daniel, I'm a certain way. And when I'm Dano, I'm more comfortable. I'm a different way. Um, maybe I'm just a schizo. I don't know. But I mean, that's just kind of, <laughs> not really, but like, that's just kind of, it's something that I always kind of, I wondered and kind of maybe just ask the question and always been curious. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think a name really changes who you are? Just think, if you would have grown up your whole life named something completely different, do you think you would have made different decisions? Do you think you would have had a different outcome? Do you think you'd be where you are right now? Um, this goes for anybody, young or old. Like, even if you're, like, young and you watch my channel, you're, like, 12 or 13 or something, um, ask yourself this question. Think about it. Think, like, what if my name was completely different? What would that... What would my life be? It'd be weird. Because, I mean, sometimes you go to school. When I was younger, there was a lot of girls named Jennifer. There was Jennifer M, Jennifer T, Jennifer. Tons of Jennifers. Does that do something to your identity as you're trying to figure out who you are? Do you have to, like, try harder to differentiate yourself from the other Jennifers just because there's so many of you or whatever name's popular nowadays? Just kind of a interesting thing I thought I'd cover on my first day of VEDA vlogging every day in April on purpose. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I really want to know what you guys think. Like, think about it. Really put some thought into this, because I want to do some kind of thought-provoking, I mean, as, as far as it goes, kind of things. It's kind of nice. It smells like a campfire out here, which is cool, because one of the things I was thinking about earlier when I was planning out what I'm going to be doing for this whole VEDA month is I kind of want to, like, have this feel of what would happen if we were just hanging out, sitting around, talking by a campfire. Um, cause that's, that's like seriously my favorite, like personally, that's my favorite time to just kind of bro down. I don't really normally use that word, but to kind of, you know, sit down and have real meaningful conversations. Some of the best conversations I've ever had with people were around a campfire, usually on a camping trip out in the middle of nowhere, fires going, people had a couple beers or something to drink, everyone's relaxed, and you stay up to all hours of the night just talking about everything, like what is life, why are we here, all that good kind of cool stuff. And I kind of want some of these VEDA vlogs to have that feel. I want to get to know you guys. I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better. And I want to take this from 
more of a you guys watching me do artsy cool things to actually you guys getting to know me better. So hopefully this whole what's in a name kind of thing has kind of opened up that door a little bit. You guys got to see or hear some of my personal history. Now I'm not editing these vlogs. I'm just going to put them out as is. So if I mess up or say something, I'm just going to just leave it because all the other stuff I do, my normal content is so heavily edited, somewhat scripted. Sometimes I'll do a line a couple times over, but oh, there's some kids in a power wheels. Check that out. Where is it? I don't see them. There they are. It's like a cool Jeep Power Wheels. When I was little, I always wanted one of those. But we couldn't get one. I probably would have broken it anyways. Or I would have drawn Jurassic Park labels on the side and never gotten out of it. Uh, <laughs> that is not a joke. I would have loved to do something like that. And it's very likely something I would have done. I probably would have custom painted it with the Jurassic Park label on the side. Because that's, that's what I would do now. Except for now it's more Disney stuff instead of Jurassic Park. So I don't know if I've progressed at all or just slipped back and learned in childhood <laughs> either way um yeah i guess that's enough about me for today it's eh, 11 minutes that's pretty long normal bit amount of talking i guess i don't know what you want to call that i'm just gonna wrap it up now guys i want to hear what you think about the whole name thing do you think it matters do you think i'm just crazy do you think i'm some crazy guy who goes by eight different names is that what it is Either way, I want to see what you think. Leave it down below. If you guys are new around here, new to the whole VEDA thing, we're vlogging every day in April. So go look up the hashtag SSSVEDA, V-E-D-A, or just hashtag VEDA. You can see other people's videos. I've actually subscribed to a bunch of new channels recently. Other people who are doing these cool VEDA videos and sharing themselves with the world. And there's a lot of people doing some cool stuff. So check them out. Subscribe to their channels. If you're new around here, subscribe to this channel. There's a button somewhere maybe. If Actually, I might edit this. Just so we can have a button in there, why not? But uh, maybe not, we'll see. Either way, there might be a card or a tag or something. If you're new here and you want to learn more, you want to see more cool things, subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later.